This video outlines the lysine decarboxylase broth. And lysine is part of, it's one of the amino acids, and it's one of the uh, substrates we look at in the protein catabolism unit. So here is an uninoculated tube of uh, lysine here. So I just want you to see it does kind of have a purplish cast, but it's kind of a greenish purple. And the reason why I want to mention that is because it actually turns purple as a positive as well. So make sure you're kind of aware of where it is when you begin. So if the organism has a decarboxylase enzyme specifically for lysine, lysine decarboxylase, it will cleave off the carboxyl group on the lysine amino acid. And if it can do that in this broth, the pH will go up, and the pH indicator is bromocresol purple, and it will actually turn purple if the pH increases. So this is one of those where the end result, if it's a positive, is a similar color to actually your starting color, which is also purple. A negative result uh, is just means some other product was produced and probably the pH dropped, and so that will be a yellow color. Also to note on here, um, in addition to the indicator and the lysine, when you go to incubate this particular tube, you want to add mineral oil on top, about five drops or so of mineral oil, and you want to put the tube on tightly. So we're trying to uh, hold in this kind of unpleasant smell you get at the end called uh, cadaverine in the lysine tube. So the mineral oil, by covering it, will do that. So again, this is lysine decarboxylase broth, and we're looking to see if the organism has the enzyme lysine decarboxylase and can break down the amino acid lysine. And that is the lysine decarboxylase broth.